let's say we had a wide area network with these five different geographically dispersed locations. One way of interconnecting these sites is to take, for example, the headquarters, the main site, and have a WAN link going to each of the other sites. So we have a direct link from HQ out to everyone else. Grand total, that's going to be four links we're using to interconnect five sites. We're not using an excessive number of WAN links. This can save us money because we're probably paying some monthly recurring fee for each link. This is minimizing our cost. However, on the downside, if we were to label these sites, we've got site A, site B, site C, site D. If we had frequent traffic between site A and site B, for example, we're dealing with a suboptimal path, sometimes called suboptimal pathing. You see, if I wanted to go from A to B, I could not go directly from A to B. There's no direct link. I would have to go from A over to the HQ site, then back over to B. That's not optimal because I'm having to go through an extra hop. What we've described here is a hub and spoke topology. We've got the hub, HQ in this case, that radiates out to all of these remote sites, the spokes. The upside to this is we're saving money. We're minimizing the number of links we have to have. The downside to this approach is we might end up with suboptimal pathing.